All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial. Of course, this is for beginners, uh, anybody who's on PSP 6, PSP 7. Uh, this is working on PSP 8. And of course, you can click on File, Browse to get started. Pick an image by double clicking from the uh, Browse window. <laughs> All right, once you do that, um, go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and increase the colors. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make it RGBable. <laughs> and by that, you go to Colors, increase the color depth change it to 16 mil colors which is a 24 bit or you could also choose control shift 0 to go ahead and increase the the colors um, go ahead hit the airbrush and up in the settings bar you're gonna go ahead go the uh, go to the blend mode use color change any settings that you need to on the brush and uh, go ahead zoom in to the image to make it easier for you to color um, choose the color of the skin yeah, that's good. Uh huh. Choose this color skin. You can always customize any of this. So go ahead and just color as if you were coloring. This is like using an airbrush. You know, it's very smooth. It's very neat. Um, you could zoom in. You could do whatever. Change the size of the you know the uh, eraser and all that good stuff, and get to the tight parts, of course. Um, basically, that's all there is to coloring a black and white image. Um, it all depends, of course, on the color of the image, how well it'll take the colors. But that, of course, you'll learn on other tutorials where you could add texture for it to help grab colors. Um, play around with it, mess with it. Another little tip go into File, Workspace, Load PSP 7, and that will more or less give you the outcome of a PSP 7 layout. Thank you.